This is FanimeCon. It is a anime convention, which is held in San Jose over the Memorial Day weekend. As you can see outside, normally it can rack up anywhere from, from 20,000 to a little over 25,000 people every year. Many of my friends su suggested that I shouldn't go to this convention, mostly because of how much of a clusterfuck it is. They were right, after all. but. I do like a challenge, and I do like visiting new places that I've never been to before. So with that said... Hey there everybody! Welcome to another lovely edition of Magnatrex Goes To, and this time around, I'm at Fatime Con. It's a convention full of anime fans, obviously, where it's been celebrated for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years or so, I'm not really sure exactly, but it's been around for quite a long time. and. To be honest with you, this is I'm in uncharted territory with this because I'm more comfortable with local conventions, but at the same time, it's always nice to get out there and explore and see new things. And quite honestly, there's a whole lot of things to take in. But uh, everything's more fluid, more fast-paced around here, and uh, hopefully, I'm going to try to cover a lot of ground because I carpool with a friend here, and he wanted to do his own anime stuff, and I wanted to meet up with a couple of uh, people in particular who are here. But at the same time, see what we're going to see and vlog as much as we can. So with that said, let's get started. Alright, so I didn't get my tickets in advance, but at the same time, there's a line for it. And it's not that bad of a line. It's a little bit more fluid. And of course, it has this bit of a weird zigzag pattern line, which a lot of people tend to uh, cut through and uh, cut around. Which is no surprise there. And now there's a more fast track line for credit card payers, which I'm going to take that risk. So I guess paying with card it pe pretty much is a layman's term for going on somebody's laptop and entering all your personal information on there from there. Which honestly, I did not expect that. I expected like either a swipe or something else, but you just have to roll with it sometimes. Now we got ourselves our ticket. Now let's go upstairs, which I think it's upstairs, but we'll give it a shot. It is still a little early in the morning, but you can clearly tell that there are a lot of people out and about trying to find the best deals to add to their collections, and what kind of tasty Japanese candy that is available. Jesus Christ, that's a good outfit. Thank you. All right, after taking a first uh, walk around the block, or the exhibit block, it seems like there's a whole lot of going on, and uh, not a whole lot of people, to be honest. But then again, it's also uh, 10 a.m. right now, so maybe more will pile in in the next couple of hours. Well, nothing, that's, nothing around here that seems to pique my interest when it comes to what to buy, but who knows? Maybe in due time I'll find something that that would be quite intriguing. And so now I'm in the gaming hall area, and there's not a whole lot going on, and I didn't bring my 20-sided die or my magic cards with me today, so there's nothing but a little good view to uh, take it all in. Um, it's not a whole lot, but you know, you never know. They might have some gaming contests coming up later. Some people who take their games really seriously than others. And is that an arcade center? There's an arcade center. Hell yeah. Well, to be honest, the arcade area seems more like... Well, the arcade area is a little bit lackluster to say the least. Along with the video game area as well, which is pretty much just a bunch of guys sitting around the, a bunch of tables with new and old video game station consoles. But there is a Jenga game, so points for that. So now I am heading into the Artist Alley. This is a nice little venue where a lot of uh, artists and creators and whatnot come together to sell their stuff pretty much at the conventions from diehard fans or whatever it seems to uh, float their boat. And to be honest with you, I would have to admit though, this is actually uh, quite surprising, mostly because of the uh, crowd-wise. There's a lot more people in here than there are in the dealer's area. So, you know, that's really something, I suppose. Looking around, I can see that this is probably the heart of the convention, the artist's area. And as you can tell, there are some fantastic artworks as well. Some that just look like they're practically popping out of the pages. Well, after taking a stroll around Artist Alley, I couldn't find anything I liked, per se, mostly because I just didn't want to spend 15 to 20 dollars on one single custom poster, but mostly because I just didn't see anything that is worth buying to me personally. I'm sure there's a lot of interest for a lot of people when it comes to custom work, and there's nothing wrong with that. Why am I ranting again? All right, let's go back to the dealer's hall. Because one of the reasons I came down here today was because I was supposed to meet somebody. 
somebody like Mr. Hektua Khan. How is it going, man? Hey. Or Heck, right? Hekta. Hekta for short. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Actually, I'm a little bit tired because I had to check out a little bit early. Uh -oh. But because I'm more of a night owl type person. Right, right, right. I'm more of a, well, day owl. Uh, then again, that's a stupid joke. Uh, yeah, Mr. Heck has been doing this for quite a while you just now. just call me Hector. Hector, sure. Sorry. That's my legit name, Hector. And then I just Jap japanese fight it or something for my channel, because it's mostly an otaku channel. So it's Hector. Right. So, anyways, you've been doing this uh, for quite a while right now. And I do have to say, I am a little jealous because it seems like you got over 1,000 subscribers in that short amount of time. What is your secret? Well, I try to kind of branch out and talk to other people as much as I can. And I think also another sort of secret, at least for that channel, is Baby Metal. Baby Metal. Uh, I've been a huge Baby Metal fan and so my Baby Metal videos are actually the videos that get the most views and the most subscribers and so I do a lot of uh, reviews of their concerts and any merchandise I get. Of course I do like to do cosplay uh, conventions and all those sorts of videos, unboxings, but the Baby Metal videos are the ones that get the most views. I bet. Now Baby Metal's that uh, Korean pop type music, right? Japanese. Japanese. It's, uh, it's a, a fusion between pop and metal, actually. Right. And so there's like three uh, girls who mostly sing and dance, and then there's four guys who play like all the metal music. And it's pretty badass, I think. Interesting, interesting. Now, I also noticed on your uh, Twitter profile that you're an IGN freelancer. How did that happen? Well, I was an IGN freelancer. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Uh, probably back in 2010 or so, I just started writing strategy guides just uh, for fun basically, uh, for free and everything. I wasn't a freelancer at that time. And then I started talking to some of the editors over there and um, I was like, oh, I would like to actually do this for a living maybe. And so uh, one of the editors said, well, you can send a little sample to the editor, that, editor that's in charge, the managing editor, and then maybe he'll get back to you. So I did that, and I didn't hear anything back for like six months, I think. Yeah. And in 2011, he finally was like, oh, well, if you want to be a freelancer, we can hire you on. So I was a freelancer for five years, just writing strategy guides. We went from regular strategy guide format to the actual wiki format, which has become more popular. Damn! And so I've done like a bunch of different video game guides over the years, but uh, last year, we kind of split ways. Oh, okay. And I still try and do some strategy guides on my own website, hxchector.com, but that's just my own stuff. Yeah, sure, of course. Everyone's got to have their own personal business email address and everything else to make themselves feel a little bit more professional and everything else. I've been meaning to work on one myself, but, you know, busy times. <laughs> so how long have you been a fan of anime? Well, I've actually technically been a fan of anime since I was probably like 10 watching Pokemon. Right. But a lot of people don't consider Pokemon an anime. And I didn't really get into anime until around high school years. Probably at the end of high school, 17 or something. And um, I started watching Inuyasha. That was the one that really sucked me into the anime area. And then I went to Full Metal Alchemist. And I've been trying to get into some of the older, more popular animes like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. But I haven't really had the time to get there. And just... It's over 9,000! And so, you know, I've been an anime fan for probably 10 years or so by now, or over 10 years. But um, I haven't really started cosplaying until 2015, so that's only been two years or so. Right, 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 I hear you. Yeah, cosplaying is always a nice thing. Sometimes it can be fun, and sometimes it can lead to other things as well. And, I mean, you, talk, you said earlier that you want to get a cosplaying community in our area, right? Well, I just want any cosplay community to get together. It doesn't have to be just in our area because we live in the same city. Sure. But um, just like a whole California area would be fine too, you know, because we go to Sacramento and now we're in San Jose right now for Fanime. And so just a whole California area of cosplay community, I would like it to come together even more because like you're a fan of that whole internet critic community. Sure. So. I'm sure you would like to reach out to the internet critics all around. I would like to reach out to all the cosplayers all around. Sure. And then just build a community that way. Yeah, that's the problem about uh, trying to make friends with internet critics. They don't know whether or not you're 
they see you you're the real deal or do they see you as full shit because you know the thing about the internet is that people try to do what they can to get all the views and subscribers you know and all that stuff and it's a it's usually and depending on how it goes it's usually an up and hill up and down relationship i mean fucking uh, i don't know if you know this guy or not but there's this one youtuber named leafy is here yeah i've heard of him oh he got famous because uh keemstar promoted the shit out of him so much and because uh, Leafy was so young, charismatic, and just ranted about almost every single little topic, those topics included like major YouTubers, on what he thought about them, and he just threw in the keywords, that's how he got over 4 million subscribers. But in reality, he's just a whiny little piece of shit, bitch. <laughs> it's true, if you've seen, if you've seen iDubbbz' video, it's pretty much the, 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 the absolute truth. But you know, it's just stuff like that, they just tend to explode, and I hope to do that sort of thing, but not, but in more positive light, you know, I like to try to be as neutral, uh, as neutral as h 3 h you know, still have a, a good relationship with the good and bad YouTubers as well, you know? Yeah, H3H3 H3 is probably one of the very few channels that I watch, like, every single video that he puts out. Yeah. And, of course, the Ethan Hila channel. <laughs> this, e this Ethan. <laughs> so, I think that pretty much wraps up this little Q&A portion. Do you have anything else to say? Anything you want to promote? Well, so I can just throw it right down below your little head. <laughs> yeah, so um, my otaku channel is Hectakun, but pretty much everything else, my gaming channel, my Instagram, Twitter, everything is HXC Hector, HXC, because HXC was kind of like a shorthand for hardcore. I always went by Hardcore Hector. Uh, on all my gaming platforms since I don't know 2009 or something sure and so that's what I've been using the most but with my Japanese channel it's just Hekta-kun so yeah you can check me out gaming channel otaku channel and just everywhere Instagram Twitter Tumblr Facebook all that stuff awesome man awesome thank you very much man for having for being on the show very first Q&A here on the boob tube there'll be some more in the future but until then you guys have a good one.